Hello learners, hope you are keeping well. Uh, today we're actually going to look at map index. All right, and I'm going to give you some interesting facts about it. Okay, and uh, how we work out the map index. I'm going to give you some explanations first and then show you a simple method that you will get on most maps. Okay, so it's map index today. Let me get my my highlighter. I love my yellow highlighter. All right, so we're looking at map index. Okay, so let's get going. Now, we would notice, and I'm going to change slides each time to the slide next after this. All right, now the map index is always found next to the title of the map. Can you see it here? It shows you 2527CA, all right? And it's next to what the map is, Rustenburg West, okay? And the 25 refers to the latitude. Can you see here? The 25 degrees is your latitude for this one. 25 degrees okay and then the 20 and of course these are let me get it straight these are the lines of latitude hey eh? right on every map i know learners tend to mix this up also and then the longitude is the 27 after the 25 can you see the 27 here that's your longitude and it represents the lines this way so that's the two things then we've got a c and an a all right now what we need to look at here is that we have the teachers were told you the big block all right we have this whole area divided into four larger blocks for easier referencing all right now this is block A. There are four map sheets that are found in block A. Each block represents a map sheet, a complete map. All right. So this block here would have had the map reference or map index would have been uh, 2527 AA. All right, your teachers say big block A, small block A. I remember that. That's how I teach when I was younger. All right, the map index is like that. Okay, but, but let's take this one. Okay, on the topographic map now. All right, this is the topographic map that is found on the top. All right, now when we look at this, it's 25, 27. Do we have 25 and 27? Yes. And let's use that old phrase of big block C. There's big block C here. And the smaller block A, the old way of saying it. And this obviously would be your smaller block A. So the map of Rustenburg, this is where it is situated. It finds location of the town. And obviously, late as you do grid reference, it finds a specific location, all right, of an area. Okay, but this is where the town of Rustenburg is situated. Now, we also got a autophoto referencing, all right? Autophoto map reference. Same, 25, 27. There's your 25, 27. Big block C and big block, uh, a small block A. It's in this region, okay? This area down here. That's your area where it is. But then it's got a 20 next to it on the autophoto. All right. This is the photo number. Now, the map sheet, in order to design the map sheet, it takes 25 photographs. All right. And this is the 20th of the 25. So if you look at my hands here, in the first row, you got one, two, Ah, but, uh, I'm fooling around with my hand. All right, you've got one. Ah, let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm forgetting my way. And then you got a next row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. I'm trying to show you with my hand. So the first row will be one, two, three photographs. Ah, oh, that's my thing. All right. Four photographs and five photographs. Okay. So the first one will be four, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go to the next one, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you put the photographs together and you got a map sheet. Okay, so this is the 20th photograph of that map sheet. Is that clear, learners? All right, so it's very, very interesting about the map sheet and, and things like that. All right, that is why the, twin, the number photo number comes in there. Okay, so just to summarize, the map index always appears next to the title of the map. There's some new information here also. The map index in this case was in the vicinity of 25 degrees and 27 degrees, right? That's 25 degrees is the latitude and 27 degrees is the longitude. Then notice I use the word south or letter south and east, okay? Because what happens here is that the, if it's in the southern hemisphere, all right, from the equator, is, which is zero degrees, it increases in a southerly direction, all right? And if we look at the longitudes, you have it running from west to east, and if it's at the zero degrees here, all right, the longitudes from the zero degrees Greenwich Meridian increases in an easterly direction, easterly. That's why we got the east there, and because that increases in a southerly direction, it's south there. From the equator going down and from the Greenwich Meridian, zero degrees moving east. Okay, so now the CA is used to, used to distinguish all maps within the area of one latitude, degree latitude and one degree longitude. What do I mean by that? All right, can you see? It's 25 here and it's 26 here. So it's one degree. It's 27 here and 28 there. It's one degree. So this whole block here is one degree. All right, one degree in this whole block. Can you see? There's all the minutes in between. Okay. So it's very, very interesting, all right? And then each small square, as I told you, represents a map sheet, each small square. Okay, here, yeah, this one square here yeah, represents a map sheet. This one square here yeah, represents the map sheet of Rustenburg. Okay, I'm just revising over that. Therefore, an area of one degree latitude and one degree longitude actually covers 16 map sheets. I know this very rarely gets tested, but it gives you a better understanding of why we do this. So when I go here, let me go back here. All right, can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so one carries 16, okay? Right, the number indicated, as I said, on the auto photo map index, all right, that's the 20 is your photo number. And there are 25 photographs to make a map sheet. Can you see how interesting the map index is? Maybe one day you're going to be a specialist in that. Okay, so... Uh, we covered all that. Right, now, sorry learners, my thing is not working. Now, in many cases you get this, of course in the, in the lower grades, in grade 10, etc., 11, they ask you to work it out in other grades also. But in many cases, 
this is can be very very simple all right there's a complete map sheet here this is a complete map sheet let me move my face it's not a map sheet can you see this map sheet is complete there's 25 photographs here all right uh, so this is where the title together with the map index is okay 3319 CB Worcester. I, I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. And my apologies to people who live in the area. All right. I know I've always pronounced that wrong. Okay. Now, what we need to note is that on most of the times when you get your exam maps, the map index sheet is given at the bottom. So it's easier to calculate okay in the higher grades all right it's easier to calculate now so sometimes they say uh, give the map index of the area so south or north east then all you do is you go northeast of northeast of uh worcester or Worcester. apologies all right uh, so northeast and then i know northeast is there so it's 33 19 BC. Give me West. I go here. Yeah, it's 3319 CA. So in most cases, it's easy to work out the map index. All right. Because it's given on the map. Okay. For exam purposes, you generally will get the map index or index sheet on the map itself. Same with the photograph. You look at it here. This is a, of Human's Dorp. There we have it here. Can you see it in big? 2024-24BB1. All right. Latitude, longitude. And let's go the old way. Big block B, small block B. All right. And one is the photo number. It's the first photograph. All right. Of Human's Dorp. And you can see it here, Lannis. Let me get my face away. Can you see? You found it here. There it is here. It's now enlarged here. Same. If you want to find the map index of the town uh, southeast, then you go here. And there you found it. Don't forget to put the photo number there. Or if you want to go north, there it is here. 3324DD. 21 photograph number 21 can you see it there all right so you much easier to identify each thing that you're looking for okay learners i hope that you understand map code and the big hint here is when they say work out the map index of the tower of the area southwest or northeast or whatever look at what is found on the map and simply work it out all right another important point is always check on which map it is the topographic map or the autophoto map all right because then don't look at the wrong index sheet. All right? You may make a mistake. All right, learners, all the best. Goodbye.